Hey, how's it going there, party people? Today I'm going over my homemade linear bearings. Now, these are based on a design from CNC router parts. They actually have all the 3D models and stuff posted, so I downloaded them and uh, modified them a bit. Uh, it's a good design. I, I'm not taking credit for it at all. Um, things I did modify, though, here's one uh, that's just been drilled up is that I increased the height um, to an even one inch so one inch by two inch by 4.5 um, I did that so I could use um, just your standard one by two aluminum bar <coughs> and let me go ahead and uh, go over some of the features of this let's go ahead and pop one of these babies off so right, you see I just have some placeholder ones but uh, basically, it just uses skate bearings. Uh, we have set screws on these sides to push these in together so they grip tight on the, on the rail. Now this rail here I have is just a little bit of aluminum I had uh, laying around just to test it out. But let me kind of show you how it will function. So basically, two of these get ganged up together so that they're on either side of the quarter inch rail. You know, Beneath this would be the, the actual support system. It's going to be... Uh, two by six um, uh, rectangular tubing. Let's see if I can snap this into place. These set screws actually work pretty well to keep them kind of locked in. Well, I'm not going to mess with it right now, but anyway, so one goes on each side. They get you know a board laid across, and then they move together and they keep it locked in. So uh, let's go over some of the ways that I used to create these basically I first started off with a, um, a router a CNC router that I have just a small one kind of lightweight not really designed to be milling aluminum let me go ahead and show you the rig I have for that so basically this was just the first time I tried to build it it was too tight so I had to increase it by hundredth so there was some clearance so I could slide these in and out but basically you would just sit it in there you know one side, mill it here, and then flip it, you know, here, do this side, flip it over, do the other side. It worked pretty well for the first four, but it was taking forever, and uh, I really didn't have a deep enough bit that could go all the way through. I had to go through half, but even then, it was clogging up the two flute carbide bit I had. It didn't have enough cut clearance. Um, I tried high-speed steel, but that had a long reach, but that was just horrible so after doing these four that came out really well I decided to go ahead and just try doing it I went ahead and just milled out the top part here these two wells these two slots and then these kind of ovals used for the the set screwed bearing I went and milled the top side pretty much I didn't mill these and I didn't mill any of the side holes and what I ended up doing was creating some uh, other jigs for the drill press so basically this is the top one, it's pocketed out, it just slips on top of the bar. And then using a, uh, the, all these holes are a quarter inch and this is a quarter inch transfer punch. I would just sit in there and tap it and that would give me a divot that then I would later go in and uh, drill out the hole. And then I'd flip it on its side and do the other one. This is the left side that has the set screw one. Again, they're all quarter inch holes. Um, so it doesn't matter because all you're doing is just you're just transferring and this is the left side sorry the other one was the right side this is the left side so after doing all that I went in and drilled all the things um, one thing I'll say is if I could do this all over again what I would do is I would go ahead drill the top ones all the way through but for the side ones the two inch if your drill has mine has exactly two inches of travel so it wouldn't go all the way through <clears throat> But if you have a drill press that actually will do two inches travel, I would go ahead and just drill a pilot hole, you know, the smallest diameter, all the way through, and then uh, that way you can then go in with bigger ones for the, these are the 8 millimeter clearances, these are for the 8 millimeter taps for the bearings that you see here, you know, so it goes in here and needs clearance, it has a thread on this side. Um, what I would do, yeah, is just drill a pilot hole all the way through and then use a bigger um, drill bit for, you know, each size that I needed. These are three eighths for just drilling. And sorry, my hands are destroyed from doing all this. Um, so yeah, I would just drill a pile all the way through and then enlarge as I needed. 
Uh, that way I could go all the way through, you know, and get it lined up. Mine went almost all the way through. I flipped it over uh, once I started doing this proper. Then um, I uh, just enlarged the other side. Once it found through, like, the eighth inch that was left, it kind of self-corrected and got it right over. But you can see here, like, these, the first ones that I did, I didn't quite do that. So I had to, like, enlarge some of the holes to try to get them to line up. And that's no good. I actually killed two of them doing that because there's not a lot of material left on these sides. So, also, I think if I would do, I probably would add, actually add more material on either side from the original design just to try to beef them up a bit. So, that's basically what I would do differently. I'm going to do more of a detailed walkthrough with all the pictures and everything on my website, which is thunderdork.com. Again, if you want to buy these pre-made, go ahead and go to cncrouterparts.com, where I uh, downloaded the models from. Um, the the way he has it, they have a these are actually ABC five. They're not the greatest. He has ABC seven uh, bearings are that come with it. These bolts actually metric bolts in America are very expensive. I end up having to go to Amazon and uh, buying a case of a hundred for like twenty five bucks. Uh, if you go to Lowe's or something like that, it's ridiculous. Something like three bucks just for five of them. So I don't know how he does it, but he has um, he has them priced pretty well. So I would go ahead if you don't if you want to save your hands from all the drama and hours of tapping and everything like that it, the price is hard to beat but uh but if you want to kind of learn how to how i did this uh, feel free to go to thunderdork.com if you want to buy them cncrouterparts.com in the meantime you guys have fun thanks a lot